Um, I've got a bit of breaking news for you, Jermaine. Um, massive news, actually. TalkSport understands that Chelsea have reached an agreement in principle to sell Conor Gallagher to Atletico Madrid for £33 million. Personal terms are yet to be agreed. Tottenham are still uh, tracking the situation, but Chelsea are selling Conor Gallagher. What do you make of that? Chelsea fans should be fuming, in my opinion, because he is a player who's come through that youth system, loves the football club, runs himself into the ground for the team. He's the captain, and you're getting rid of him just getting because him. you want to go and sign someone on an eight-year contract. And you, you, you've got Tra- Trevor Chalobah not even in the... Yeah, not even travelled. Not even travelled in the preliminary squad. Another homegrown talent. It's, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about Chelsea at the minute. They're in a bit of a disarray again um, in the headlines for all sorts of wrong reasons, yeah. as, as we know. Now they're selling some homegrown young talent with some good plays as well. Yeah, I'm sure the Chelsea fans are not looking forward <sighs> to this season. We've seen some of the pre-season games getting tonked 4-1 by Celtic. Yeah. It's, it's not looking good. No, it's not I looking good. I can't wait to. Uh... Listen, what he lacks in in star quality, I get that Conor Gallagher. Like you know, he he, he lacks what you know Jude Bellingham has got or, on the ball. You know, on yes. the ball, but he's still you know he's still a good player. He knows how to do stuff, and he if he's confident in the right team, he's a very very good player. He's efficient. You've seen him at Crystal Palace, how good he was, and how you know, like I said efficient, and and how how we can use him and utilize him. But in a but team got, where you need to be desire though, yeah, right? a team you know, where, where you need to be a long playing. Way. A team where you need to be technically good and you're always on the front foot, he does get found out a little bit. But a team like Atletico Madrid, where with Simone, they're, they're like the dog in midfield, it'll be perfect. Yeah, I think he's a disgrace. I do. I think it's a disgrace they're letting him go. He's a captain of the football club, works his towel off, loves the team. Everyone likes him, gives everything on the football pitch. When people go missing, when you see Mudrick go missing, when you see players go missing on that football pitch, you'll never see him go missing. What he lacks in quality he makes up for in heart and desire so I think they made, I think they're making a mistake getting rid of players like that uh, players like that need to be at your football club and it sums Todd Bowley up in my opinion let's go to William though he's a Chelsea player uh, sorry, Chelsea player Chelsea oh, yeah, fan he's, uh, Chelsea he's, he's phoned us up straight away uh, he's not happy alright Will hello guys how are we doing I'm good mate um, what, what do you make of the news absolutely furious I, honestly I, I don't even recognise the club anymore what they're doing they are literally whipping us apart they're selling everything they can and spending billions and are on these one sorry i'm not gonna say wannabe players but players of the future and uh when we've got zero experience he's our captain he's come through the youth ranks and uh, how many players are going to come through our youth ranks where we're just gonna be like Oh, sorry, you're just a price tag to us and I had to make sure we're financially all right. Yeah. He's an England, he's an England midfielder. And I, we need, like, you want more England players, especially in the Premier League, and I had to play the highest standard. Now what? He's going to go, I'm not saying La Liga's not any good, but why do we want to see him now playing in La Liga and I, with Atletico, go, which are a good team? And I, he's, uh, he may not be the absolute most skillful player and I, in the Premier League. But as you said, he the energy level, the heart, the desire of wanting to stay at the club and be part of the club is an absolute outrage. And the club should be ashamed that they're going to sell him for 33 million. That is, honestly, I would, if you're getting 50, 60 million, I, I would still be fuming. But at least that's what we feel like he's worth. He's our captain. How, who else is going to go? They've, what have they done to Chalaber? Of leaving him completely out of the pre-season tour yeah. is an outrage, and he was our best centre back at the end of the season. He was. He I was. don't. I don't understand. Like, is, does that mean that now we're going to sell Reese James as well before well, I don't know, 50, 60 million, and that because you know he's also uh, a free player? He, I could see it happening. Like any player that's coming through the youth ranks, it's just going to be a price tag to these owners. It's ridiculous. Something, something of all needs to be changed in this with FPL. Yeah. And I say that clubs don't lose their heart and soul of the team. But who's going to be captain now? Uh, realistically, I don't know who, who they're going to make captain. Rhys James, probably your best bet. Rhys James, yeah. But yeah. the thing is with Rhys James, he's hardly on the pitch. Yeah, and also, he's, I'm not going to lie, and uh, when he was, uh, I think, he took or made him captain or deputy, it almost distracted him from his play he just needs to be uh, free to think of what he's doing he needs to stay fit being like second. yeah well he's got he did that, that's his biggest fitness and also no, uh, Chilwell as well 
his fitness is also up in the air in each season. And then you've got Fafana as well with a massive injury for the last two or three seasons going. And I, so How embarrassing I is it, though, Will, that Chelsea, you look at their squad now and you're selling Conor Gallagher who's your captain and you're looking around going, who's your captain? There ain't, like, there's, there's no, like... You, know, you, you go back at Chelsea and you go, oh, yeah. all right, John Terry's injured today. Who's going to be captain? Drogba, Lampard, Balak, Mikel, yeah. <laughs> Peter even, Cech, even, even, Ivanovic, Peter Cech, Carvalho, be. Ashley Cole. I mean, honestly, now you look around that team and you go, who's captain? I don't know. Like no Conor Gallagher, Conor Gallagher, honestly, was the only player currently who in that midfield was probably fit pretty much entire season and out without going through an injury. Like, you've got Fernandez who picked up a little injury here and there last season. You've also got, uh, I mean, Carcedo was pretty fit majority of the time. And it, and it be, I've, I'm imagining that they're selling him because they're worried that bringing Jubilee's Hall in, that there could be a lack of maybe playing time in that for him, which I, I just completely disagree. And I think actually him and Carcedo make our midfield really strong. Yeah. Yeah, Super strong. Yeah, and William, top man, mate. Thanks for your call. I want to hear from Chelsea fans. Get involved. Uh, as Talksport understands, they've reached an agreement in principle to sell Conor Gallagher to Atletico Madrid for thirty-three million pound. Uh, I don't think that's a good move, in my opinion. Uh, we'll also carry on taking calls on players that need to step up, underappreciated players as well. But Chelsea fans want to hear from you. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.